Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students who are preparing for FRM and CFA exams to clear their exam in the first attempt. Now, this video that I've created is primarily for uh, people to understand what is the difference between level 1 of FRM and level 2 of FRM, okay? FRM primarily, level 1 primarily focuses on giving you the basic idea about the finance. So, they're going to be covering the topic related to statistics, which is the base of the finance. A lot of models, a lot of calculations that you do, you need to have some basic idea about statistics. So, they give you that idea. The first book in your level 1 focuses on the foundation of risk management. Being new to uh, risk management, they are giving you the basics that how a bank perceives risk or what are the different types of ways through which you can calculate risk, uh, what are different types of risk. So all of this is basically covered in the foundation piece. They are also giving you a slight flavor of portfolio management. Okay, When you are creating a portfolio, what are the different risks uh, you face, how do you calculate return, how do you analyze uh, risk of it. So there is modern portfolio theory related topics, sharp ratio, Taylor ratio, all of this is given as a flavor in level one then you also have the basics of the products what is futures what is option what is swaps what is fx you also have valuation of futures and forward you also have valuation of option in your frm level one that is a base that they are creating and they are also giving you an idea of value at risk and expected shortfall these two are very prominent methods which are used in the industry to calculate risk management so they have also given you the flavor of it so that is what is level one Okay, they are that they are creating a building block. They are giving you a lot of basic information which students also read when they are doing MBA, okay, or they they are doing masters or they are doing any specialization in risk also. So these are the basic things that you generally cover. But when you come to level two, okay, the preparation level has to be changed. Okay, so because the content is very different in level two, what they have done is they have bifurcated individual books focusing on one risk. Okay, so they started out with market risk, credit risk, operation risk, but in 2020 they realized that they are not giving due importance to liquidity risk and they added a one more book into it. So added more around 20 chapters into the exam scope. Okay, so if you look at the four books or the first four books of your level two, they have an individual focused approach. So you have market risk which gives you an idea about how the term structure is created, how the correlation impacts your portfolio creation. Okay, and what is a VAR? So they will also cover from basics of VAR and then they will take you to the next level in terms of market risk calculation. When you look at credit risk, okay, the credit risk uh, is more uh, from the perspective of counterparty risk or the risk related to the securitization of the product. They are also giving you an idea of how the credit risk modelings models actually work. Okay, for and they are giving you a flavor of both retail customers or retail banking related part also plus investment banking related part risk from the credit side. So that is that is a very detailed approach and the content is very good for credit risk then they also have operational risk where the chapters are not correlated to each other but they are giving you a flavor of what are all different angles within operation risk a bank might face issue with respect to the culture data management then a cyber attack okay they are also giving you uh, how a risk capital statement should be created so all of this is covered in your operation risk book it's very detailed and if you are working in operation risk you would be able to connect it very fast then there is also a liquidity risk uh, book they are talking from the perspective that if you are a bank which has a retail deposit or if you are into trades how do you manage liquidity at the overall bank level so they are giving you perspective of deposits non deposits the risk management contingency funding should be managed repo as a product they have explained in it in detail so liquidity risk is also slightly detailed from the perspective that you will not be able to see those content anywhere else okay so content is very good okay so the first book four books primarily focuses on the broader risk that your organization faces then you also have a book which is a risk management and investment management this entire book is nothing but the entire portfolio management concept so they're going to be starting out from a single asset what is the risk in a single asset and then when you take those single assets and create a portfolio how do you create a portfolio how do you what all risk do you identify in the portfolio if you have a manager who's managing the portfolio how do you assess that manager how do you hire a manager all of this so they're starting from a single asset and taking you towards the entire fund okay so that that is a very 
detailed approach to look at a portfolio management and that is also very good content and then they also have current issues okay current issues which is the latest development that is happening in the financial world with respect to risk management they are adding it and every year they try to change the chapters from these this book to give you a flavor of what is happening so they also covered covid they also covered machine learning ai okay the new things the green swan event is also there then you have uh, scandals what are what all things we have learned from certain scandals in the history so all of this has been covered in detail in that book to give you a flavor of what is currently happening in the industry so if you look at the approach for frm level 1 and level 2 both are very different frm level 1 is more about the basics of finance which you might have seen somewhere in your work in related but frm level 2 is very 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 detailed into particular risk even though you are working in the risk management you might be working in market risk but you might not be aware about what is happening in credit risk or operation risk so you need to have a very different approach of preparation as compared to your frm level 1 Okay, so that is the basic difference between FRM Level One and Level Two. I hope this video has helped you in your preparation and getting more better understanding related to the exam. If you like my content, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will help me to reach more and more people and give more and more awareness about this exam to the audience. Thank you.